What's up my mates of YouTube, my name is Ozzy Marcel and in today's video I'm going to be giving my thoughts and general impressions of Azaro's Wanted by Night. But before I get into that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, just hit that big red subscribe button down below, it helps me out immeasurably and you've got no idea how much I appreciate it. So if you're a first time viewer or a long time viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider it. So yesterday before work, I went into Chemist Warehouse and I wanted to pick out a fragrance that I've never worn before. So after a couple of minutes of browsing and making some decisions, I ended up with Azaro's Wanted by Night. This is an Eta Parfum. It is the night version of Azaro's Wanted. Wanted itself is a pretty close approximation of Pacaraban's Invictus. This, however, is the furthest thing from Invictus I can think of. And actually, it reminds me quite a bit of John Varvatos' Dark Rebel and Dark Rebel Rider. It just doesn't have any of that dirty leatheriness that both of those fragrances have. This is like, in my mind, a, a kind of a cleaner take on both of those fragrances. The packaging, I've got to admit, is nice, aside from the tacky cylinder up here. And that sort of design language carries over to the bottle as well. Here we go. I am, I am a fan of it, I will admit, but there is a tackiness to it. The fragrance is quite dense, it projects really well, and overall I'm a big fan of the way it smells. Zara's Wanted by Night is a unique scent. There aren't too many fragrances out there that smell overly similar to this. It has a sweetness, it has a burnt amber note. Well, at least in my mind, it smells like burnt amber. It's got a, just an ever so slightly touch of smoke to it, but it's not in the same sort of like incense ballpark as the Dark Rebel fragrances, for instance. There are some citruses up top, and then there's sort of like uh, almost a gourmand quality to it in the mid. It's like a honeyish caramel vibe and then you've got that burnt amber below it. Performance for this one was incredibly solid. I applied it before I went to work and long after I ended up bartending I could still smell it on and I had to scrub it off in the shower. It's quite solid. I'd say it's an eight hour plus scent. Uh, if you're wearing it on your pulse point, you know where your body generates more heat, I would say it's going to last even longer than that. So two to three sprays is going to be fine, it's going to be plenty. I've got a couple of compliments for it, which is always nice. I don't think this sort of scent is going to be the most popular with others. This is slightly more something that you're going to want to wear for yourself. I will admit, Wandered by Night doesn't tick every single box regarding what makes a popular, well-appreciated fragrance. There is a slight dirtiness to it, and I think just for that alone, it's going to be off-putting to some people, but I think it's still safe enough that the majority are going to really like the way this one smells. And I don't believe I've ever smelt this in public before, so it's not going to be something that everybody's wearing. I think the original Azara's Wanted is going to be much closer to what people would typically gravitate towards. For me personally though, Wanted by Night is a fantastic smelling fragrance, super solid performance, projects pretty nicely as well. Um, this is going to be going into my regular winter rotation. I picked this one up for $65.99 from Chemist Warehouse for 100ml, I believe it's 100ml, yeah it's 100ml or 3.4 fluid ounces. Should I actually use all of this, I will be purchasing it again, mark my words on that one. If you've ever worn Wanted by Night before, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And also, let me know what you think of Azara's other fragrances. And until my next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel, and I'll catch you guys around.